Okay, so you've installed Comacom, but you can't actually get it to work. It's not letting you select the COM ports and you're thinking, what the hell's going on? You've Googled it, you've ended up on YouTube and you've ended up here. Well, you've ended up in the right place because I can tell you how to fix it. Okay, so we've got Comacom running and I bet that you have Comacom version free. That's the first mistake. You have Comacom version free. It's no good. Get Comacom version two. And how do we check which version we're on? Well, the, the simplest way is just go to add remove programs in Windows and search for COM0 and it'll pop up here and it's straight away it's telling us we're on 2.2.2, which is exactly what we want to see. That's the version we want. If yours says anything else, if yours says version three dot something dot something, get rid of it. Just uninstall it, whatever it asks to do, just do it. And it will probably ask you to restart your computer. Do restart your computer for it to fully get rid of Comacom version two or three, the bad one. Then go on Google and search for Comacom version two. Make sure you download version two. And by the time you've installed it and come back, you will end up with this over here. Now, if you're not sure how to actually open Comacom, you probably are, but I'll just remind you, once you've installed it, go to the start menu and type setup. And then you're looking for this thing that looks like two with a wire with two plugs at the end. I think that's what it is anyway. Click on that and that is the Comacom configuration tool. Now, the problem we have now, if we get rid of everything else in the background, the problem we have now is, what is this? CNC A0, well, that's no good. Let's change this. Just go into here and type COM2, three, four, whatever. Keep going until it turns blue. Good, it's turned blue. That means this COM port's free and we can use it here. If it turns red, it's no good. You need to keep increasing the number until you find a free one. Okay, in this side, we're, we're gonna type COM, zero uh it's com six let's hope that's free it is luckily com six is free that means we've got two numbers one after the other it doesn't matter this could be com six seven it doesn't matter as long as you know what they are when you're configuring your other applications but if you have two consecutive numbers it's a lot easier to remember what's going on when you don't have comma com open it's easier to remember five and six are together once you have two numbers that turn blue just click apply and that is it you're good to go and how can we prove that this is actually working well all we need to do is look in our logging program and here we're using station master pro there's a link below if you want to take a look it runs on windows mac Linux and Raspberry Pi. So whoever you are, whatever your preference on operating system, chances are you're on Windows, I know, because you're messing around with Comacom. It certainly works on Windows. Link below if you want to try it, seven days free. And uh, we can go into the cat settings and just look at the COM ports. There's number five, have we got five and six? No, it's not there, we need to apply. If it doesn't show up, it's good that this has happened because it's proving that it doesn't always work for everybody. They're not coming up. So what we'll do is go over here and we'll just click add new pair. We'll remove the pair that's already there, click yes. Then we'll go back in here and just type in COM5, COM6. Click apply, we'll close the second screen and we'll go back in. There it is, COM5 and COM6. So that's all you need to do. If it doesn't work first time, just add a new pair, delete the first ones, and just type it in again. And just keep doing that until it pops up in your, uh, in your software. And you can now see COM5 and COM6, which are the two COM OCOM ports. What's COM OCOM for? It's basically a virtual serial cable. And if you're using something like OmniRig, or you've got a rig, and you want to connect it to some software that requires this kind of connection, then that's basically what it's for. So in Station Master, other, other logging apps do a similar thing. In Station Master, we can say, right, this is going to be plugged into COM5, which is, let's say, this hand, <laughs> the left side of the cable. And then what we can do is go into our radio or we can go into OmniRig or anything else and we can say, right, you use the other end of the cable, COM6, and then it'll allow that program to talk to Station Master via a serial connection. That's all it does. You probably already knew all that and you're only here to fix the problem. I've shown you how to fix the problem. Now please reward me with a like, subscription, and maybe leave a comment below to tell me that I've saved the day for you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.